a woman was unhappy with her contractor and she posted a very scathing, very negative review on Yelp about him. And the contractor claims he lost business because of it and is suing her, suing her for $750,000. So he is claiming that because of this review, she cost him all this money. The website also says here that uh, the woman is claiming that uh, she had, uh, not only had the guy had destroyed her house instead of repairing it, but that she had also said that there was some jewelry that went missing after he was there. Uh, so I, I don't know if that's true or not, but, you know, it, it just, it's the Internet, people. The, people can say anything on the Internet. Whether there's going to be a case where he's going to be able to comp on this, I don't know, because judges take a very dim view of people that go after people who review their businesses. Last year, a California dentist was ordered to pay $81,000 in legal costs to Yelp and to a husband and wife who wrote a negative review. You know, dentist, going to the dentist is not fun to begin with, but... You know, if the the people, the, the dentist went after this person and because they wrote a negative review, then, hey, deal with the review and just move on. Pick up and go on from there. Uh, Crystal, your thoughts? This is a really interesting story, I think, um, because we see so much of this, uh, of these lists um, online to where you can go on and, and, and rate uh, different services and, and what have you. Um, and you don't know both sides of the story. We don't know exactly what's going on underneath the table or behind the scenes of this. But um, I think the main thing being here is this Miss Perez that posted this uh, review uh, claiming that, that not only did uh, he not perform the services that uh, he was asked to do or hired to do, but um, he also trespassed, he stole some jewelry, mm -hmm. and uh, yep. on and on and on. It's really easy for somebody to do, and if you've ever worked in customer service, you know that people love nothing more than bitching to get free stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I can't help but wonder what her motive really was. Um, interestingly enough, a judge did order the parts that uh, could not um, be substantiated to be removed uh, from her complaint, and she mm -hmm. eventually removed that post. I think his mistake was coming back and then retaliating back at her mm. instead of handling it in a, in a real business sense, which not only trying to appease her, I'm not saying to admit or anything like that, but uh, maybe trying to make it look as if he's trying to work with her online, right. and even encouraging his existing good customers to uh, write in good things about him. I think he handled it poorly. Yes. I'm not really sure how this is going to come out in court, because as you said, um, the court's don't look too fondly on it on their side either. Right. And um, this will be interesting to see what's going to happen when this does get get to court. Yeah. You know, I I I, I know I have I've had this actually happen to me. Something just like this. Well, the exception of the lawsuit part, uh, I had to deal with somebody on eBay, uh, a, a company, and they made the the part that they sent me didn't work for my computer. I sent it back, and I wrote a negative review, and so they gave me a negative review. On, on mine, which wiped, that totally destroyed mine, uh, my perfect record on there. So uh, it, it kind of pissed me off, and not m nothing I could really do about it. But uh, you know, so I just kind of yell, "Okay, fine, I, that's whatever," you know. Right. Well, it's really sad because I mean, somebody that, that obviously there's just people that just love to complain. They love it. They love to think that they've ruined your their, your business, your life, whatever. And it would be real easy to get on there and say terrible things and ruin somebody's reputation. So mm -hmm. I, mean, I hope if that's the case, the guy does get uh, compensated, you know, for whatever degree. But that doesn't undo maybe what damage that she has done. Yeah. Uh, it, it, sad world we've came into now. Yeah. And, you know, I, I many years ago, I used to work at, at Sears. And there was this one woman, oh, and when I moved in, into this area here, I, I, I worked there. And uh, there was this one woman who would come in there, and all she'd like to do is just come in, just to bitch and moan, just to piss and moan and complain about every little thing that she could. And that's the only reason she came in there. And she didn't want only one person to help her out, and because that was the person she liked. And that was the only person that she would let help her. But if, otherwise, she just pissed and moan. So, yeah, there are people out there like that. Uh, Wayne, your thoughts? 
Yeah, I looked into this case a little bit uh, because it was um, I thought it was interesting. And uh, first of all, she uh, goes back to the work that they did. Um, she ran up about a ten thousand dollar bill with the work she wanted done, mm -hmm. and then had decided she wanted more work done at her house. And the guy wasn't real comfortable with uh, doing any more work because she hadn't paid anything yet. And he kind of confronted her and said, "Hey, it was uh, you, you got to pay me something before we start doing anything more." And then she all of a sudden said, "No, I don't like the work that you've done. You're fired." And then um, then she started talking about him uh, stealing jewelry and trespassing. Uh, and it did go to small claims court before any of this. Before any of the reviews, it went to small claims court. And then this the guy's story was that he messed up the paperwork, he did something wrong with the small claims court, and he lost the small claims court, and she didn't have to pay him any money. Mm. Uh, uh, but then she, on top, after that, she went and did this review stuff, where, the, where she put in that he was stealing and trespassing, and that's what he's reacting to, apparently, mm -hmm. is, what, is his story. And, um, and then, like Crystal said, there was a judge order, he, and she had to retract the, the, the stuff about the... Uh, the the, uh, the the thieving, but then apparently the review is also on Angie's list, and it's not clear to me at this point because the, 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 the interview I saw uh, it had been taken down on Yelp. This is a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. but it um, was still on Angie's list. So I, I tried looking on Angie's list today for it, and I was having no luck finding it. Doesn't mean that it's not there or that it is there. It's just I'm not, I've never used Angie's list before, and I you probably gotta be a member. To, uh, I was having problems with it. So, yeah, you know the um, thing about the internet is, no matter how much you, how hard you try to delete something, there's always a copy somewhere. Yeah. <laughs>